talk to you today about how we can design particles that have an attraction that causes them to stick to specific cells or tissues. This is one of the things that we do in our lab, and we're excited because we can use electrostatic interactions in combination with secondary interactions to do just that. I called my presentation Sticky Nanoparticles for Better Medicine. And the reason for that is that we're designing these nanoparticles or carriers that have charged groups on their outside. And they also have other groups which allow these nanoparticles to attach to specific cells or tissues and to remain there so that they can deliver their payload of drug. Uh, we're using this as a way uh, to really recognize the fact that we can use these nonspecific interactions as a way to target drugs to specific parts of the body. Right now we're developing a range of different material systems that can give a very controlled release of drugs in a sequential fashion. We can do this in the form of thin films and in nanoparticle form. So right now we're hoping that these thin film release systems can be applied for wound healing to help address the healing of wounds in a very controlled fashion and also for regenerative medicine to help regenerate bone and other tissues at uh, the point of an implant, such as an orthopedic implant. On the other hand, our nanoparticles are being targeted toward cancer, infectious disease, and osteoarthritis. Polymers have always been fascinating to me because when I took a class uh, back when I was an undergraduate on polymer science, I learned that we can modify simple little things on this large macromolecular chain and get extremely different properties that range from rubbery materials to very dense ones to clear ones. Uh, that got me really excited about polymer science. And as I began to explore the field more, I began to recognize that I could use my chemical tool set to actually modify what these polymers can do. That led me to work with polymers that can assemble together to create an interesting material or structure. And ultimately, I began to get involved in the use of layer by layer approaches in which we layer positively and negatively charged polymers together and create functional materials that can combine the properties of these different material systems. I am extremely excited to win the David A. Turnbull Lectureship Award. To me, it means a huge amount because of the fantastic people who have been awarded it in the past. I'm also excited because there haven't been many women who have received it, and I think that there are so many things that women scientists and engineers are doing. This award really uh, recognizes that fact. Mm -hmm.